What is good all you donkeys in the hood? Youngest of plugs, you're back with another video. Today, as you can probably tell from the intro, I'm going over this guy. This is the Nintendo 2DS. This came out in 2013, but the reason why I'm going over it now is because it's 2018 and usually I like to do reviews on products that are old that still work today. And there are a lot of benefits to this thing, but there's also some negatives. But with the new Nintendo Switch coming out, a lot of people are kind of ignoring the, the 2DS, 3DS lineup. So I wanted to go over this and, and give you my thoughts and opinions on it and whether or not you should pick one up considering that the, now the Switch is out. Hope you enjoy the video. Let's go over this guy. So first I want to do a quick overview of what this device actually is. So basically the 2DS is a Nintendo 3DS with three different things, a different design, no capabilities of 3D gameplay, and different internal specs. Other than that, this thing plays the exact same games that the 3DS can, and at the same frame rates with just a smaller display. So first I wanna start off with the negatives. There's not many, but there are a couple that may disappoint you. First is the fact that it's old. It's five years old. That basically means that the internal specs with technology and the way that it grows and advances it may be a little bit slower than the newer 3DS or 2DS XL when it comes to opening apps and loading times. However, when you're actually playing the game, there is no real effect on the actual gameplay performance. Second negative thing to this device is its lack of portability. Yes, it is light and easy to carry around, although it lacks that clamshell design that the 3DS and the 2DS XL have, and so you can't really fit this thing in your pocket. You're gonna need a case to throw it in your bag or something like that. So those are the two major negatives. There are little tweaks and such, but I'm not gonna go over those because those are nothing that concerns me when using this device, and I wanna give you my honest opinion and feedback when I use this device. All right, so now for my favorite part, which are the positives to this device. And there's a lot of them, but I'm gonna go over the four main ones that really grab my attention. The first thing is game performance. Yes, this thing is five years old, and yes, it doesn't have the greatest internal specs and it has bad loading times, However, they're really not that bad, first of all, and once you're in the game, performance is second to none. It's the exact same as a 3DS or a 2DS XL. When playing games like Super Mario Bros. 2, I found no lag whatsoever. And believe it or not, because the screen on this 2DS is smaller than the 2DS XL or 3DS, that means it actually looks sharper because it is in the same resolution. The second positive is game selection with any Nintendo device that is in the 2DS, 3DS, or 2DS XL lineup, you're getting a wide variety of games. From the DS lineup, all the way to NES lineup, and of course, any 3DS games. Once again, you're just not gonna be able to play them in 3D. But to be honest, when I had a 3DS back in the day, I never used a 3D function. I really found it hard to play the games in 3D. I didn't prefer it that much. The third positive to this device is its design. Now I know before I said that one of the negatives was because it wasn't very portable and didn't have that clamshell design to throw in your pocket, but because it's actually bigger, it fits in the palm of my hand a lot more comfortably. I'm sure other people who um, also have larger hands, uh, it'll be more comfortable to game at it for longer periods of time. Now the fourth positive to this device, which is the best thing about it is price. I know it's five years old, but this thing was $80. $80 for something that does the exact same thing as a 3DS or 2DS XL, except it doesn't play it in 3D. $80 for a gaming console that can play all sorts of a variety of games, that's pretty impressive. So there you have it. Now, would I recommend this to any of you who don't own any sort of Nintendo device out there right now? Absolutely. I'd recommend this 100%, especially because if you don't know what you're getting into and you're not really a huge Nintendo fan, it's only $80, you couldn't go wrong. Now, for someone who has a 3DS or a 2DS XL, no, I wouldn't recommend this because those do the exact same thing and it really wouldn't be necessary to get this device. If you broke your 3DS or you broke your 2DS XL and you're really not into spending another 150 to $200, then I'd go with this. It's only $80, you won't spend that much more, and you can continue to play the games that you played on those devices. So overall, go and check this thing out. It's really, really good, especially because the Nintendo Switch came out. The Nintendo 3DS right now is around $200, and the Switch is about $300. So that's why a lot of people are going away from 3DSs and buying more Nintendo Switches. But this guy being $80 really creates a greater margin between prices of the Switch 
and 2DS. So I hope you enjoyed the video, guys. If you enjoyed it, please smash that like button. Go pick this guy up. It's awesome. And I'll catch you in the next one. Smile you later.